Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now, I'm about to exchange my NZXT H400i right at the back by the new H500i and I will share all my experience with you guys, but I will take this chance as well to swap my PSU because as I promised on one of my last videos on our build, I'm using a Seasonic Snow Silent 750, which is a great PSU, but it's white on a black case. So before I do all that, just want to share some ideas and some thoughts and why I've decided to go with this Seasonic Focus Gold Plus. <laughs> And we are back. So before we begin, just a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is PureVPN, one of the fastest VPN service that I've used so far with apps for almost any platform, including Android TV OS, which is one of the things that we use right over here. And that being said, don't forget to check the link down below so that you can get a VPN service at an affordable price. And that being said, guys, focusing on the Seasonic Focus right over here, uh, there are several models that will start on the 550 watts and go up to 850. Now, I would like to start this video by telling you a few mistakes that I've done uh, over the years. I've bought a few cheapo uh, PSUs in the past, and that is something that I did learn with my own mistakes. And at this moment, the only thing that I do uh, think when I'm building a SIS that I need a PSU comparable with the system that I've got. Because usually we build some really nice premium systems and then at the time of choosing a PSU we will see the cheapest PSU available and I've done that in the past a few years yeah. ago and then we have bad experiences. We will have a terrible cable management. I've had some systems that are really really loud. Uh, I still have one right over there and most important and sometimes we have component failures uh, in terms of electricity and then damaging some components because we are using a very cheap PSU and we have to think that everything and all the power that will go to our uh, components will pass through this component right over here. Now that being said, and I don't want to bore you too much, this power supply is a 80 plus gold efficiency power supply. Now in terms of choosing a gold and a platinum, for example, my suggestion is that first of all, you guys will need to see how many hours your computer will be on, the price that you will be paying in your area in terms of electricity and making that calculation if the difference from a gold power supply and a platinum power supply in terms of price, let's say that this costs 80 and your platinum costs 160 or 170, if that price difference in four or five years will make the difference on the electricity cost that you will have to pay. If yes, then step up to a platinum, for example, as I have one at the back. If not, then I believe that the gold is the balanced one and will be more than enough for most people. Now, one thing that I really love on any power supply is the ability to be uh, fully modular, which means that I only need to uh, use the cables that I actually need. And that will leave my case at the end uh, completely clear. And I've been using uh, this kind of power supplies for the uh, past few years. In this particular case, the uh, Focus right over here has a mixture of cables. Some of them are sleeved, black sleeves right over here, which look really nice. And then some of them are only uh, black flat cables, which doesn't look bad, but I honestly prefer the sleeved cables, give a little bit more style to our case. Now, one of the things that I also enjoy on this particular, not only this PSU, but on most or all, I think, on Seasonic PSUs, is that this one in particular has 10 year warranty. And a 10 year warranty on any electrical component means a lot because if you have any problem whatsoever, you just send it back to the place where you bought it. And then Seasonic will make sure that either they fix this one or they will send a new unit. So 10 year warranty is just great and just leave us peace of mind that for 10 years, I will have this PSU running on my system with no issues at all. Now, another factor which is really important to me, especially because 
I love silence and I really need silence when I'm recording voiceovers and I'm doing video work and so on and so forth. And this particular unit is dead silent, like my Snow Silent. And before that I had a Corsair RM850, which was also silent. So the last three PSUs that I had were a great experience in terms of noise and this is not an exception. And they have uh, the same system more or less that I have on my actual Seasonic Snow Silent, which is the hybrid mode and normal mode. Now on normal mode, what happens is that the 120 millimeter fan will be always on, but it will be on depending on the mm -hmm. load. So let's imagine that we have 10 or 20% load, the fan will spin slowly at a low RPM. And then if we have a 50% load, 70, 100% load it will spin faster but even spinning faster is really really silent especially when we compare with cheaper PSUs on the other hand it also has the hybrid mode which will keep the fan completely stopped up to more or less 30% of loads and then only when we reach roughly 30% the fan will start spinning so that it can cool down uh, the PSU and this is just great because a stopped fan is a dead silent fan and I've been using for quite a few time my Snow Silent 750 so this one has the same system which I love. I would just like to point a fact which is really nice as well while the Snow Silent has the hybrid mode uh, button inside so I would need to open the case if I want to change the mode which is something that we don't change frequently honestly but I really enjoy to see here on the focus the hybrid mode button at the back of the PSU which with the press of a single button I can change modes which is just great and in terms of size comparing my actual Seasonic Snow Silent the focus is a little bit smaller which might be very useful for those of you that like myself have a small system them and every inch or every centimeter counts so this is also a great thing now if you ask me hey Robert is there anything that you would like to see improved in this PSU there's only one thing that I would love to see and I'm not really sure if that's technically possible but I would love at the back we can see at, on this grill right over here some components and having a fully black PSU I would also like to see these components in black and probably they cannot be painted some of them I know that can't but if there was a way to place in any protection black protection in this particular case that make uh, this part right over here so that we wouldn't see uh, this yellow cable or the capacity right over there so that would be great and that was the only thing that I would change of course this will be at the back and we will not look at it but this would be one of the things that I would love to see uh, change I know it's a big thing but I would love to uh, to see that now guys i'm going to wrap up this video right now my expectation is really high regarding this ps right over here and what i'm going to do right now is disassemble my system at the back put it in the nzxt h500i along with the focus gold plus and i will give you guys more feedback on the case and also on the psu on the next video hopefully this video was helpful in some way so that you guys can uh, think on the psu that we'll get before looking for the cheapest component to put on a premium computer which is most of the times a waste and if it was helpful in some way don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one